this crowd before the game. Indiana will start Erica Wheeler, the all-star game. The difference. It still stands 6-6. Tierra McCowan 6 Also doubling in that GM role. She had been with the Chicago Sky before that. Nice drive. And Tiffany Mitchell, now Dupree. Finds a cutting. Kennedy Burke. If you have watched them in the last four or five games, they've been playing really well as, as well. Dante rolls and posts up on Sill, and there is Sylvia Fowles for the steal. Sims pushes it ahead, loses the defender, gets the left hand in the lane. <laughs> Tiffany Mitchell guarded by Augustus back into the starting lineup, and Mitchell averaging about 12 minutes per game since she came back from that knee surgery at the start of the season. There is a three-wheeler in just some heavy traffic. Somehow gets it out, four seconds on the shot clock. Mitchell. Yeah, Tiffany Mitchell does a very nice job against a good links defense, but it wasn't quite enough. Augustus! Like that are going to be difficult for her tonight. Oh, Dupree drives. Dupree. It's another home game this season. This is the only one scheduled. If there is another target center, it would be in the playoffs. Sims in the All-Star game. Dupree, one second on the shot clock, just got it off. And there is that offensive rebound. Scored tonight, crossed the 400 point mark for the season. Fouls deflected into the hand of Dantes. It's a lot of work to have to battle in there every single time down the court. Dupree, jump shot. She always seems to do very well against the Lynx. Robinson answers. That's Burke. Kennedy Burke drives all the way through, hammered Harms. Short on the three, good offensive rebound by Talbot and Robinson. She's sporting an angle. <laughs> it's hard to miss those. Hard to miss. Here's Dupree. He points out. And with the rebounds there for Nafisa Collier, she has crossed the 200 rebound mark. This is Kelsey Mitchell, who moves at a really fast pace, as you're about to see. Simone Augustus also back in for Minnesota. Simone started tonight. The deck gets contact from Laney. No foul call. She also missed the shot, but there's Big Benley working underneath. Coach Reeve will go on and on about they need the rebounds, the hustle. Feels the defense strong enough to take it up. Get herself to the free. Get it out to yeah. Tiffany Mitchell. The drive to the basket. And Mitchell to Bentley in particular on this play. Augustus hits the rolling peg. Bentley. And she was in advantage of the post. Well, McCowan's on the bench. Mitchell, a couple of fakes and a beautiful drive to kind of her fouls. That would be beneficial to Minnesota. This is the matchup right here. Nice pass. Foul. It's difficult for the defense to know how they have to play her. Loose ball, and Collier has it to Simone. Simone! Simone! Uh -oh. Baseline. Uses the screen, and there is that jump shot. Traditionally against Indiana this season, at least, has turned the ball over quite a bit. Blocked by Collier. Oh! Dupree catches the inbounds. And Taking a shot in this game. Had that pass deflected right back at her, though. Remember, Wheeler hits seven threes. In Lob pass inside, knocked away by Fowles. They were trying to go inside to McCowan. Sierra McCowan is up and he's taking two shots, but look at Fowles. A quiet first half for Sylvia Fowles, one of four, but also a quiet first half for Sierra Wheeler. Dupree now, six seconds on the shot clock to spin move, and Candace Dupree. And now Laney. And Laney has the ball, takes the screen from Fig Benley. Pulls up, takes the shot, hits the shot. 16% field goal shooting, Minnesota 44%, which actually is pretty good. The Lynx will take that. Uh, coming at you, and that's the thing about Sylvia Fowles. She will keep coming. Dupree had such a great Ooh, knocked away. And all the way in, the Lynx have missed five consecutive shots. Fowles trying to change that on a nice move. She lost. D-Rob to Collier for three. B. Perimeter. Burke gives it up to Dupree. And the Lynx are a good defensive team. And have been all season. And a good offensive team. Offensive rebound. 
Battle for the loose ball. Collier. Oh. No, finally it's D Rob coming away with it. Danielle Robinson on the go. Finish. She's amazing. And she stepped over Dupree to get that. By Danielle Robinson to tie this game at 49. And then just like that, excuse me, Erica Wheeler. Now Laney, the lob, the cow and the basket. There's nowhere to place this ball if you have this differential on the height, and then you're gonna have two easy points in that. Laney, four on the shot clock, drives all the way to the hoop, kicks it out. Oh. Sims works with the screen. Pull up off the dribble in the third quarter. Short, Odyssey gets her own rebound, kicks it out, Lexi Brown. Three! Target center. Sims on the break. Dupree dribbles into that sweet zone. That's called a two point. That does this all the time. Three seconds left. Brown gets it off. Gets it in. How about that for a third quarter finish? Sims in the teeth of four yellow jerseys. Oh, wow. Number four on Tierra McCowan. Oh, maybe the off arm got Odyssey. Uh -huh. Sims tries to lose Laney. Eventually gets free and makes the shot. Links up five for just a team in this game. Don just gets it to Fowles. With the rebound and now Sims. Ooh, battle underneath. Link's kind of best ever. 10 to 2 run. I mean, I think it's safe to say the best ever. Yeah, she's amazing. Is she still? Sims. Collier. Four seconds on the shot clock. Collier. The offensive rebound. Still in the paint. She's good. Uh, just promoting the women's sport and WNBA, US women's soccer team. Yeah. But they dominated second chance points. They dominated points off turnovers. And that's the reason for the lead. We've watched them come back from down yes. 20. So twice. Fouls again. Getting back into the play. Collier knocked away by her husband. Sprinting up and down the court. Trailing plays a wow. couple of times. That happens. Turning over Indiana. Big Finley has it. Drives to the hoop. Picks up her dribble, hits the shot. Links need defense here. McCowan with a nice the final game of the regular season here at home. Links have two more on the road. But it, uh, just a great second half in particular. The Lynx led by as many as 10, but Indiana was up seven.